Hi there. I'm Scott, and this is Great Scott Knitting, a uh, Hanukkah special. Um, this is my recording for night two. Although, full disclosure, I did not record this on night two. I'm recording this on day two. But, you know, technically it's still the second the second day of Hanukkah. Um, just as a reminder, the Jewish day starts at sundown the night before and runs till the next sundown. So I'm technically still in Hanukkah day two, so I have not broken any rules, at least my own personal rules. Um, yes, I am I, the proud keeper of um, the child. I will give his name out eventually. Well, actually, Disney gave the name out, and I don't know if everybody's watched the, this uh, current season of The Mandalorian, so the name of the child has been revealed, but I'm not going to do spoilers. So, um, but I am the proud keeper of the child for the current time being, so he's going to hang out here with me today. Um, so... Uh, what am I going to talk about? Oh, um, received an interesting email late last night. It could have been early this morning. I didn't look at the timing of it. But anyway, it was an email from YouTube giving out my year-end statistics. Although technically for me, the year has not ended. But anyway, it was interesting. Um, and so I, I, I do want to give sort of a big shout out to everybody and thank you so much for tuning in and watching and subscribing and commenting um, because it has been really great. And just uh, one of the things that I do want to say is I have actually over 248 subscribers. I have broken the 250 mark. So um, thank you all of you subscribers who are out there and are watching. Um, but also thank you to everyone who has taken even a couple minutes out of your time to watch any of the content on this channel over the past um, few months um, since I started this. Um, so Hanukkah day two. Uh, has been relatively quiet. It was. It is Shabbat. It is uh, so. In addition to Hanukkah, it is also Shabbat, and um, so I had my Shabbat preparations. I you know did the Shabbat meal, um, and it was a very simple, nice little simple meal that that I put together. Um, I had this. Uh, I have a. Uh, um, uh, what is it called? It's a NutriPot. It is just, it's like, it's like the Instapot, only sort of a, a cheaper version of it. Um, works just exactly the same. Absolutely love it. Um, I use it every single week. Um, I have, I have two main kitchen gadgets that I use consistently. They are my um, NutriPot slash Instapot. So it's basically a pressure cooker. And um, also my um, countertop convection oven. I use these two things. Like one gets used one day, the other one gets used the next day. It, 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 I'm serious. I almost never use my stove and, or my oven except when I'm baking bread or um, boiling water. <laughs> it's about the only things I do on the stove anymore, uh, which is really kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, I did that. Uh, you know, prepared for Shabbat today and had our Shabbat meal last night. Um, so you know, one of the interesting things about Shabbat and uh, combining it with Hanukkah is the lighting of the candles. There's a very specific order that things must be done in on Shabbat. Um, now there's the if you're Jewish, you already know this, but some some of you may not realize that on Shabbat we are prohibited from lighting um, lighting a fire. 
So lighting candles on Shabbat is prohibited. So these things are done before Shabbat. So when we have Hanukkah, we light the candles before sundown. So because Shabbat begins at sundown, and that is when we light the candles for Shabbat. Um, once we have lit those candles, Shabbat begins, um, not, uh, not before that. So um, we'll light, tonight we lit the Hanukkah candles, which is night two. And then, uh, then we lit the Shabbat candles to begin the Shabbat, uh, our Shabbat time. Tonight, um, for night three, it will be very similar in that, um, but it'll sort of be in reverse. Um, Shabbat will end technically with Havdalah, which also has a flame in, or a candle involved in it. And then we light the lights of Hanukkah after sundown. So um, that way we're not lighting fire on Shabbat. So it's a, there's that little tidbit. Now, as this is a knitting channel, I do feel an obligation to talk about knitting or fiber or something. So I am going to show you a work in progress. Um, this had just got started this past week. Um, this is the, um, this is a scarf I'm making. Oh, gosh, I cannot remember the name of the pattern or the designer. That is really bad of me, I'm not prepared. But it is a nice little cabled scarf. And I say that because it's actually quite um, intricate. It's one of these, it's one of these projects. Oh, there you go. Now you can sort of see it. It's one of these projects. It's got this very Celtic um, uh, braid to it, which is really nice. But because of the intricacy of it, absolutely cannot do it without the pattern um and so this is not one of those tv knitting items my tv knitting item uh right now is to continue working on this blasted sock so that eventually i can get to the second sock and have a new pair of socks out of this really lovely yarn that i dyed um so huh, that's my tv knitting now um which has consisted of finishing up the crown. Oh my God. Love that show. It is so, it's so interesting. Um, I, I do not know if that show will continue on after this season, um, as it gets a little bit closer to modern times and the adult, uh, children of Charles and Diana. So it'll be interesting to see what, what happens next. Oh, what am I wearing? I am wearing the um, checkerboard cowl that I made. And it came off the needles uh, really quite recently. It's got a nice little checkerboard pattern of uh, alternating between stockinette, reverse stockinette, and seed stitch. So um, really nice pattern that I basically created um, with this uh, and this is hand dyed yarn as well. So I really loved this stitch pattern in this yarn um, because it, the way this was dyed, the, the color is very non repeating. And so every stitch is practically a different color. So um, it's really, it, it works well, especially with the seed stitch, because you get these little pops of uh, bumps that are all different colors. So I really enjoy doing this. Well, anyway, um, I don't want to go on and on and on because this is just technically a short little Hanukkah check-in. Um, I hope your week and season is going well. I hope you have a lovely Shabbat, um, which other people call just call Saturday. But I hope it's a lovely day for you. Me and Grogu are going to hold down the fort here and share a little bit of uh, Hanukkah cheer as we close out the day. So have a lovely, lovely day.